What's up guys? Today we are going to talk about the Q-Collar. Uh, the Q-Collar is a non-invasive tool to be worn around the neck to help prevent or lessen the severity of traumatic brain injury, concussions. Um, you know, I've seen them on the field or on the ice and different athletes in different sports wear them, contact sports, and, and it always like, you know, I didn't bother to, to look into it to think about like, why, why is a thing worn around the neck helping with concussions? You know, it's like, that seems dumb. I uh, didn't get it, didn't bother to look into it, but they offered to send it to me. I'm like, oh, hell yeah, because that's important as a parent of lacrosse players, as a former player, and as a coach, you know, concussions are a big deal. So they sent me this. I've been reading all about it, uh, checking it out, and time to make a video. So let's go. All right, guys, so it comes in this nice box, a little carrying case to throw in your bag. Uh, they also sent these sleeves. Um, you can get different colors, team colors and stuff. I'll put one of those on later. But inside this is your Q collar. Mine is a size 15, so on the website there's instructions on how to measure. You take three measurements around your neck, around the thickest part of your neck, and uh, I don't remember if you pick the smallest number or the one in the middle. I don't know. Mine is a size 15. And this thing is, is incredible. You know, it's gone through rigorous testing and it's FDA, FDA approved or FDA something, I don't know. Um, and it, it actually works. You know, the, the testing indicates that this actually helps lessen the severity or prevent concussions. And so what it does is it pushes on the jugular veins, uh, so it pushes in here, and what it does is it, it, if you push right here, you can actually feel, it kind of feels like your eyes bulge a little bit, head gets a little, a little heavy-ish. So it increases by, by pushing on the jugulars. I always thought it was jugular. I thought there was one. I, apparently there's two. Uh, by pushing on the jugulars, it increases the volume of blood in your head. And what that does is it adds more uh, more cushioning for your brain to slosh around in. Um, when it's just brain fluid or you know whatever is in there by default and you get hit in the head, the you know concussions are caused, I think we all know this by now, concussions are caused by the brain hitting against the skull, the inside of the skull. So what they do with this thing is you put it on, pushes on here, and uh, I don't know how long it takes, probably pretty quick, but the volume of blood in your head is now greater. And when you get hit in the head, uh, the brain is, is, has more cushioning to hit the inside of the skull. And it probably still does, you know, with, with violent hits, but like lighter hits, I've seen concussions caused by light hits. Uh, just really, you know, how it happens, how, where it gets you, how the head hits the inside of the, the skull or how the brain hits the inside of the skull, you know, any number of things can cause it. Uh, doesn't have to be a severe impact. Um, but the first time I put this on, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. You know, I, I felt it. I felt something happening in my head or, you know, my eyes specifically. And uh, I'm an ADHD guy who, like a lot of people, I don't like tags in my clothes. Like I get a shirt, and there's a tag in it. It's got to come out. It can't be touching me. Um, this was sort of the same thing. It was like, oh, I could never, I couldn't, you know, the first 20 seconds I put it on. And my wife was like, just leave it on for a minute. And before the minute was over, I was like, I was drawing, I was working, and I didn't even notice it on anymore. So it's it's like the, the first time you put it on, you're like, oh, nope, nope, can't play with this. I mean, me, anyway. Um, but over time, it was like, I mean, really short amount of time, it was like, oh, that's fine. You know, I totally forgot it was there. Um, within within a minute, I forgot it was there. So it's designed for people 13 years and old, older. So, you know, youth lacrosse, youth 13 or 12, you whatever, uh, not recommended or not designed for them. I don't know, their, their physiology is a little different maybe and it, it doesn't work or it's not recommended to increase the blood capacity of the, of the head. A good way to think of it is... Um, 
by increasing the volume of blood in here, you're, you're adding this extra cushioning layer, uh, kind of like your body inside a car. Without a seatbelt, you crash into the inside of the car on, on impact. With a seatbelt, you know, you're held in place in, in a little better, or a lot better, I should say. Uh, same with the brain surrounded by more fluid, dense fluid, blood's thick, you know. So it adds this cushioning layer. In testing, uh, jugular compression, which is what this is, that's the, the technique being used, uh, it reduced damage to neurons and axons in the brain, those are key indicators of brain injury, by 83%, which, that's fantastic. I mean, 83%. You know, risks, side effects, there's no statistical risk, meaning it doesn't even show up. It doesn't even, you can't quantify it. Um, there's no harm in wearing this over the age of 13. And I really don't know why under the age of 13 they shouldn't, you know, I don't know. It doesn't affect movement in any way. You, know, you look down, you know, there's no choking. If it were going all the way around, it would maybe cut something off here. There's no interference with performance, and actually, apparently, it can help with performance. You know, having that extra blood here, I don't know if it increases alertness or, you know, whatever. It's a bit of a, a performance enhancer, apparently. Another cool thing about the Q-Collar is that it's got military applications. So, concussive blasts, um, you know, for, for soldiers or even people in, in war zones, uh, civilians in war zones, that concussive blast, it's like a, it's like an impact. It, it causes traumatic brain injury. The head sloshes or, or the brain sloshes around inside the skull. Uh, it can cause hear, hearing loss and, and concussions, um, a TBI, and this, this can help prevent that. So, you know, as a part of the soldier's equipment, we could be seeing this. As a coach, you know, it, my kids, let's see, my oldest never had a concussion. My youngest had... I think he had one. Uh, so we were never really too worried about it. You know, we went through the concussion protocol and we took care of it. It was lucky. It was the last game before spring break. So we had a full week off to heal and, and he was fine after that. But I don't think it was a particularly bad concussion. But I've had uh, one year we had, I think we had 11 concussions on varsity, 11. And you've got kids who've been playing since they're in first grade, and you know they're on concussion number three or four. You know, at some point you gotta you gotta pull the plug on that lacrosse career or that football career, and you say, you know, it's not worth it. Um, CTE is a big deal. Uh, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, and it can cause a, just a litany of problems later on in life. You know, it doesn't happen right away. It's from repeat repeated traumatic brain injuries. But, you know, it's, you look up some of those, I don't know, some pro athletes who, former pro athletes who are suffering from CTE, and it's sad. I mean, it's a, it's a bad deal. So, you know, you're a, you're a lacrosse player, coach, or parent, and you've got a kid who's had two or one, you know, one severe concussion. It's like, well, let's, I know you don't want to quit yet, uh, but it's something we have to think about. You know, it's a it's an inevitability. If you get another one, you, you're probably done. So I don't know what these cost. I'll put it up here. Uh, totally worth it. You know, even if it just decreases the chance of a concussion by a little bit, and I think this does this decreases it by quite a bit. But yeah, it's um it seems totally worth it to me. But yeah, if you're a player who is a little bit worried about your melon, you know, because you've had a few concussions or one real bad one or two, you know. Um, or you're a coach who's got a, you've got this hammerhead who just keeps leading with the head and and knocking himself silly. You know, talk to mom and dad, talk to the players. Say, look, you know, I've I've got a, a thing that might help keep you in the game for a while, help protect your your noggin. Uh, what a, what a great idea. You know, two doctors developed this over I think like a decade, um, and it's just so smart. You know, it's not something I ever would have thought when I first saw Michael Sowers wearing this after he suffered a real bad concussion and I think he came back that next season and had this on and people were like, oh, he's wearing the concussion collar. I was like, what? It really just made no sense. I'm like, okay. And usually I'm pretty inquisitive and things like that. I will go look up, grab my phone and just look it up right away. But I must have been busy with something else, didn't happen, then totally forgot about it. Then, 
you know, I started seeing other people wear them. You know, I think in most, I think there's NFL players. I think there's NHL players. There's obviously PLL players. There's NCAA lacrosse players, uh, soccer players. Um, you know, a lot of, lot of brain injury from heading a soccer ball even like that. You know, if you think about it, balls 25 yards up in the air and it's coming fast and they're just, you know, leading with the brain. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna do some damage over time. So, yeah, for soccer, too, non-contact sport, but there's definitely contact with the head. And soccer players do, you know, bash each other's heads sometimes. But, yeah, it's um, I never looked into it further, and I wish I had because, uh, you know, I would have recommended it to a number of kids, a number of kids I coached, kids who were suffering from repeated concussions, which is just a terrible thing, and you do not want that in a young person or an old person. Um, so yeah, as a, as a coach, I would definitely recommend this to other coaches. Um, I don't think it's something that, I mean, you can do team orders, but if you've got a couple at risk kids, kids who are hammerheads, you know, they just, they're, they're full tilt, 100%, not out to kill people, but out to win the game through violence, uh, within the rules, you know, maybe, maybe suggest this to mom and dad say, look, you know, your kid's bright, but. He uh, is really putting his brain to the test inside that little skull of his. So let's um, let's fill it with blood and protect it. Such a cool product. I'm a huge, huge fan of it. So these cost two hundred one hundred and ninety nine dollars. Uh, you know that seems like a lot for a little thing like this, but the value. I mean, how do you put a price tag on brain health? Uh, long-term brain health, um, potentially avoiding something like CTE in the future. I mean, I don't think you can put a price tag on that. I think $200 is, is well worth it. Um, coaches, I, I, I don't know this. I didn't look into this. I know they do team sales, but I bet if you bought, you know, there's probably volume discounts. Um, you can, like I said, you can get these sleeves. Here's the red one. So if you want like team team colors, how do you do it here? When I was young, there was um, they had the the large foam outer helmet that they put on NFL certain NFL players' helmets. Mostly they wore them in in practice, and I think some actually still do wear something similar. Um, but they a couple guys wore them in games, and they were just ridiculed. Uh, you know, how dare you try to protect your brain? You look silly. And they did look silly. But it was also just like, you know, helmets only do so much. Uh, you you can you can wrap a car in a whole bunch of extra stuff on the outside, but if it hits something at speed, the stuff inside is still going to move around. So kind of, you know, there's a limitation to how much your brain is protected with a helmet. Helmets can only do so much. So adding something like this to a good helmet that's that's fantastic but yeah people um they stopped wearing those some of the the new helmets like certain i think kittle george kittle wears a a helmet with a little extra thing here um which i'm sure is to protect a little more but you know like i said it's there's only so much a helmet can do even a good helmet all right so there's the red sleeve on it, it kind of changes the whole look it's a little more comfortable too the um the Q collar itself, I said 199, I think 199.99, and the the sleeves are 14.99. Um, so, but you know, kind of a cool look. Like if your colors were red or whatever, and I think you can get custom ones. I think you can get like your name, your your team name or logo or I don't know. You have to look at it. Look at the website. There's a lot of information, a lot of stuff I didn't touch on, uh, but just an absolute awesome idea you know I'm, I'm fascinated by people who sorry i'm fascinated by people who are smart enough to come up with things like this like you know concussions are a problem what if we compress the jugulars I'm like what dude i know you're doctors but that's impressive like how'd you get from there to there um people are impressive anyway this is a, is a very cool product and i think um you know it helps a lot like if you look at the studies and, and read they have all the studies available to read on the website. Uh, very, very informative stuff, worth checking out if you're even just a little bit interested. 
Real impressive little piece of technology here. Simple. Um, and if it helps, I think it helps a lot, but even if it just helps a little bit, I'd say worth every penny. All right, guys, go check out Q30.com. You know, if you're, uh, if you're at risk, you've had a concussion, or you just don't ever want to get your first concussion, definitely, definitely think about getting one of these. I don't think it's a hard sell for mom and dad. Um, or, you know, if you, they're not into it or they don't care about your brain, mow a few lawns, right? Get it for yourself. Because you guys who are playing in the high school level, the, the middle school level, college level, you know, you're going to want to do more after lacrosse. Either play in college or get an actual job, <laughs> move out of your parents' house, use your brain. So protect it. Protect it in any way you can. And uh, this is a good idea. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next video.